Hi, my name is Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com. Installing interior trim, such as door or window trim, is a task most homeowners can tackle as long as they have the right knowledge and the right tools for doing the job. The most important aspect of installing interior trim is making perfect miter cuts. And so today I'm going to spend a little time with you showing you how to make the perfect miter cuts. Again, as I said, tools are the most important thing that you need to think about. We can make miter cuts using a standard hand miter saw and a miter saw box. Um, however, the cuts are non-precise and your seams or joints will look um, not very clean. My preference, and really to do a professional job, is to use a compound power miter saw. This compound power miter saw has a 10 inch blade and allows us to cut um, angles um, from plus or minus 45 degrees. It also has the ability to adjust the blade in the vertical position as well for the compound angle cut. The other and most important tool of any type of job when working in a project like this is safety glasses. So make sure you have a set of safety glasses before you start this project. The first thing you want to do to making a perfect miter cut is to know how to make the measurement. When making a miter cut, you always want to make a measurement on the interior edge of the trim. You use a tape measure, measure from the base, the floor, or the stool if it's a window, up to the edge where you want the inside corner to be. You make a mark on the trim board, and this will be your inside edge for the cut. Once we've made our measurements on the trim board, uh, we're now going to make the cut. In order to make a perfect miter cut, you want to bevel or back cut the edge um, on the trim board. And to do that, you can either adjust the vertical angle, or what I prefer is just simply using a piece of cardboard that I lay on top of the miter saw and then place the board over. This causes the board to lift up a little bit, which causes the, um, the back cut to occur. So I line up the mark with my cardboard underneath the board, and make my cut. We'll repeat the process on the other side. However, we need to rotate the saw 40 the opposite direction. We put our board in. Find our mark. And make our cut. Now all we need to do is simply just confirm that the cut is nice and square. Put the two pieces together. And as you can see here, we have a nice, clean, perfectly seamed cut. And this, you can see, maybe a little bit better. As you see, nice, nice, clean cut. Once you've made your perfect miter cuts, all you need to do is touch up the ends of the boards and then go ahead and install them onto the window or the door. To learn more about installing interior trim, whether it be door or windows, visit homeeditionplus.com and click on ebooks. We've got a couple of books that give you detailed instructions and pictures for every step in the process for installing window trim or door trim. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your trim project.